In this video, I'll walk you through how to get a custom domain from GoDaddy and link it to your Shopify store so you can give it a unique URL and finally share it on social media. Let's get started. To buy a domain, first go to godaddy.com and search up the domain you're after. I'm gonna fast forward as I go through the whole purchasing process on GoDaddy. So once you've got your domain and you've logged into your account, click on your account name on the top right and select my products. Click on the domain you want to connect to. Under domain, click DNS. We're gonna edit your A record here in this C name that has www. Now go back to your Shopify site. Under settings, domain, click connect existing domain. Here, paste in your domain name from GoDaddy. Hit next. Then copy the update value for a record and paste it into your a record in GoDaddy. Do the same for C name. Now, GoDaddy is going to connect with Shopify in the background, but this can take around 24 to 48 hours. If you want to look at how it's progressing, you can hit this button, which will keep loading until it's actually connected. So not very handy, but instead I'd recommend checking out this website called whatsmydns.net. Here you can type up your domain and see how the connection is progressing. If there's a check mark for all the countries listed here, that means your website is fully connected. And if you see some red crosses, it means it's still in progress. So just give it some time and when it's done, your Shopify domain settings should look something like this. Now check your domain type settings by clicking change domain type and make sure your new domain is set to primary. Hit change domain type and now your website has a proper domain. So now let's go check on incognito, type in your domain on the browser, and whoops, your website's not live yet because it's still behind a password screen. So let's go back to the Shopify dashboard, go to preferences, and you want to toggle password protection off. I can't do it on my end because it's a development store and it's never really meant to go live. Give your website a name and a short description. This is how Google will display your website. Also make sure you change this image because it's the thumbnail people are gonna see when your website is shared on social media. Once you've done all those things, you're ready to go. Okay, your store is officially live. Take a moment to celebrate because you've just created something with the potential to earn income and change your life. But now is where the real work begins because you're not going to start earning money until people discover your store and start buying things from it. And one of the best ways to get discovered is through Google. As we all know, Google is a search engine and by working on your Shopify store's search engine optimization, better known as SEO, we can make your Shopify store discoverable. Which is why in the next video, I'll show you how to get started with Shopify SEO so customers can find your store and you can finally start earning. Click here to watch it and I'll see you there.